Okay, so yesterday I didn't do any filming. I just got, I CTOLed a bunch of stuff. CTOL is when I did the wishing well. Thank you guys for all the well wishes for the wishing well. For wishing me luck in the competition if it makes it. This is CTOL, Seco Pro Lux. This is the, you see, this is natural, but it's still got some tint to it. Okay, so I think, my opinion, that's the best stuff out there. CTOL, but it never comes clear. So I CTOLed this big guy. Um, let's see. Hold on. Okay, so I see told this big guy, um, the one shouldered wizard, my buddy bought it. Um, the double one where the owl was up top, that was see told, my buddy bought it. Um, I see told this gnome I carved the other day. That's Western Red Cedar. Here's, um, your piece, Robin. That I gotta bring over there for you, and you're another piece. So, I'm gonna carve a big wood spirit in this next couple days for a friend. Here's the bum hole flower pot. I see tall. Oh, yeah, I also see tall this big guy too. So, the see tall still tacky, so I can't uh, carve in here today. So, what I got going on out here. This is the, this is going to be the water fountain. I don't know if I'm going to do koi fish or if I'm going to do wood spirits. I think I should do a carving fusion freestyle wood spirits all along the outside. Then in here, this is western red cedar. Look at all the sand in here. All these cracks are full of sand. This cedar, um, western red cedar first growth. I don't know if I should cement the rocks in. Or I should carve the rocks in and paint them and then epoxy it or something for the water to flow down. Because like I said, this is going to be a water feature. But this is going to be a slow project throughout the summer for myself. That's always when I do better carvings is when I know that they're for myself and I'm not trying to sell them. But I will sell it when it's done. This log here is some of that cedar that you guys I showed you guys. It's an old piece of cedar. But So this is... The other half of that gnome it's wet look dry wet dry wet dry wet wet dry so I figured I'm gonna carve a little wishing well I'm not gonna be filming too much when I'm carving I might do some time-lapse because I want to get this done um, I got my little 170 there I think I'm gonna start off using this um, I do not have my chainsaw carving pants today so everybody Get yourself some chainsaw carving gear, gloves if you want, eye protection, ear protection, steel toe shoes, and chap, cart, chainsaw chaps or pants. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this roof right now. So we're going to leave it thick because we got to remember it's an outdoor piece. So what this line here, I'm going to cut, pretend this is my carving bar, I'm going to cut straight in, about, I don't know, about an inch and a half. So carving bar, pen, carving bar. Cut straight in, then come and do your bevel cut. And this, this piece should pop out right here, all the way around. Then we got a hollow out here. Oh no, hold on, yeah. Yeah, I can go that way. Okay, so you'll see this orange saw. This is, this is the uh, Echo 2511 with the eight inch cannon bar out here. Dime tip, quarter pitch chain. And this is my uh, 193 with a 12 inch steel carving bar, 50 gauge chain. So they make these carving bars 50 gauge or 043 gauge chain, okay? 043 gauge chain is thinner chain, right? The 50 gauge chain is the thicker chain. So two different style bars, you gotta remember that, right? 043 or 050. If you want the 043, you want the thinner chain. If you want the 050, you want the thicker chain. I hope that uh, simplifies it.
to stop by. Hold on. So, what you guys just saw me doing with my chainsaw there? Saw there? This is how you film like a pro, huh? Right what you guys saw me doing with my chainsaw there? I was cleaning up the uh, the cut marks from. How does it look, huh? Perfect. Yeah, it uh, cleans up the cut marks. So you just kind of scrape it with the edge of the chain. So that's what we got so far. At this point, you can do whatever you want to do. Carve a face here. You can carve a door. You can make it up. A little fairy gnome home thing. This is going to be a little miniature uh, wishing well. That's what's going to happen here. So I got to talk to Al. Hi, Al. So, uh, why my buddy Al stopped by is because he's building a bench for um, the townhomes that we live in by donation. And I'm donating the wood. So here's another wood slab he's got. And I just sounded it for him. He's going to get me gas for my sauce because I ran out of gas. I bartered with him. And I had to change my sharp my chainsaws. Keep your chains chainsaws sharp. I can't even talk. Cheap keep your chainsaws sharp. Keep your chainsaws sharp. So I'm covering his license plate, but Dr. L's leaving now, so now I can get back to this. So what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be a wishing well. What I'm gonna do, no, it's not a dink, just carve rob. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm, I'm gonna cut out a block, okay? And I'm gonna get this block out. So then there's the flower potter down there, and the sides, and then the thing. Huh, yep. So I'm gonna do a close up because I'm gonna do a plunge cut. A plunge cut that I'm gonna do here and try to cut all the way through. Pretend this is the bar and this is the wood. You start at an angle, you cut in and the bottom, and then once you're in there, then you bring it up, then you can cut through, okay? So don't just start this way because you can get kicked back. So start on a bottom angle Cut it through, like this. Cut it through in there, the tip. Straighten it out, then cut through. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, get the fuck out of here. I'm tired to deal with your fucking boards, Al. You goddamn stupid bench. Beat it. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, there you go. I did all of this with my 170 with a normal bar on there. It's not even a carving bar. You just gotta be careful when you're doing this with a normal bar. Be very careful for kickback. So I've done some bad cuts. That's why they call me Bad Cut Johnson. Bad cut right here. I don't care, I can take that away. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, hollow out down inside of here. Here's a pen. So you mark it like this. Mark it over there. I'm gonna get my chainsaw. I'm gonna use a carving bar. I don't know if you guys can see very well because my shadow, because I'm too fat right now. But then I'm gonna slowly remove the wood in here. This is a succulent holder, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Okay. Oops, dropped my phone. Ha! But first of all, I gotta clean up all the kick, uh, tripping hazards, throw them in the wood burning bin. You don't wanna have tripping hazards when you got a running chainsaw in your hand. Okay, so what I did with my chainsaw, I cut all, come on, Jordan, get your fat ass. I cut all deep lines in there, about three inches deep. Now I'm gonna use my, uh, I changed my mind. I'm gonna use my Mampa cutter. This is from Mampa Tools. This is a hole saw cutter, and this makes for uh, very easy work. Hollowing out, hollowing out wood. You can even shape with this. So see those cutters on there? And you can even rotate the cutters once they start getting dull. So all I'm gonna do is just dig it out with this. Okay, I'll film for a few seconds, but um, it's, it's boring to watch. Well, maybe all my shit's boring to watch. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But anyways, it feels great to have the sun out and the sun shining on you today. Um, it's good to uh, let the Seatall dry in the sun. Seatall likes warmth. That's a neat piece, I like it. I also got the little gnome out here, drying out.
Yep. And I got the starfish bum. Ah. Yep. And I got the fly. <laughs> I got the flower petal bum hole planter carving drawing out too. Come on, everybody. What do you think about the flower bum hole planter? Huh? <laughs> All right. No more fun. Back to work. I love it. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it on this one. I'll just make this a uh, two-part series so you guys can see how, I'm gonna, how I did it. See how I round it out inside here too? Whatever. It is what it is. It's hollowed out enough for succulents. I put a drain hole in there with my chainsaw. I think tomorrow, for, this, for the second and final part of this video, I'm going to do everything with my die grinder. So just to show you that don't have a die grinder yet, what the kit die grinder is capable of doing. I think I'm going to carve a, might carve a wood spirit on each side and some rocks down here and the roof. I might use my chainsaw for the roof, but that will be the second video. I might as well make it too. I just don't care. I could always make this roof go like this, like cut this out. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Abra, Cadabra. Okay, I, always, I know I always say that's it for this one, but that's it for this one for sure this time. So you can see there, the roof's like this. I got some shingles cut in. Stagger your shingles like bricks or like a roof or like whatever you want to do. Cows are lying there in the field. Sun's out. I'll go home and relax. Carving fusion. Over and out. Okay, I'm not going yet. So I got these over here. I'm gonna. It's not gonna rain tonight. I I swear to. I swear. I hope it doesn't rain. Mother Nature, please don't let it rain. So, but this big old cottonwood tree back there. It's starting to throw the cottonwood fluff balls around in the air. So I got this mesh stuff, which is great to get. This mesh here. See? I'm going to hang this over it because look. Look. See? It's already got fluff balls sticking on it. Yeah. So it's not going to be sunny all night. So I got to get this covered with this mesh. That's all. See you next time. Over and out. Lord, I ask you two things, two things. Please don't get windy and please don't rain. Okay, one more thing. What do you guys think? This uh, waterfall thing, you guys, like a uh, water fountain, you guys think I should carve koi fish on the sides with river, carve river rocks in there? You think I should do koi fish in the sides, buy river rocks and cement them in? Or you think I should go carving fusion heavy hands, wood spirits all over the place with all swoosh lines and then carve the rocks inside and the water can come down. Catch down here, I'm going to have to find a bucket to sit in the back of the wood. Koi fish or carving fusion heavy hands.